this adventure, we explore Nevada's Humboldt Tayobi National Forest and check out some of the Silver State's old mining ruins. We also get ourselves into a little trouble off-roading, so make sure you watch to the end so you can see what happens. Oh, that's a tight fit. Ow! So first injury of the trip. That's a pretty deep hole. Belmont Mill, that's where we're headed. After airing down, it was time to do some exploring. Feels good to be off-road. At least some real off-road. Hopefully heading towards the Belmont Mill. Though we started off this adventure with a pretty tame graded dirt road, that was not going to be the case for the rest of the day. So obviously these these cars are much later than the mine. Another one over here upside down. Look at that. That's beautiful. Sportster. Somebody tell me what this is. That is awesome. I don't know. Cadillac maybe? So this is the remnants of the Belmont Mill. Now this mill was originally assembled in the early 1900s. The boom town for this area was probably about 40 years earlier. So as you can see, this is a much more modern mining operation. And the thing that makes this unique is that the cables are still intact. Again, this is the mill site, and a little bit later we're gonna head up to the top where the mine is actually located. Wow, this is cool. The fact that the counterweight is still suspended. Nice. <laughs> I hold the weight. There we go. Fuel tanks. What do you got down there, Weston? Oh, wow. There's some sugar needles down here. See, you got the tanks right there. Yeah, the belt is still here. Yeah, there's another belt. Wow. Wow, nice. This is, this is epic, wow. I mean, obviously there's more modern, they have more safety. Okay, yeah. With well over a hundred years old, I'm just amazed at how well preserved everything up here is. Some mints in here. The uh, those concrete slabs when you go down, there's another one that go down. That's that. The back, yeah. So the, the, the I don't know if you can that. see that over there. The bring up the plastic fire down and then smaller, smaller. Oh, well ore tracks coming out here, they would take whatever they finish processing. Trough out there. Oh wow. Send it out here. Take a look in this building. Wow. All right, who's going up the ladder? I'm 
I'm already going up. My was already up there. Look at that, there's another one in front. Just for the record, I don't recommend anybody do this. Whew. Oh yeah. Hey, come on! This is awesome, so the carts would come in. They came in on the other side of the paint glass, and they would decouple. Over there? Yeah, I see the spur rail to your to your straight ahead to your left. Uh huh. So when they wanted to take the ore buckets off, they could take them off there. So my guess was is they would decouple, they push them around the back, and dump them back in here. Yeah, the counterweight is this that chain right there. I love I love that we got the little doors. So the other chain right there, that's where the big counterweight or the one you see hanging. Yeah, this one right here? Yeah, that would probably be a good view. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Walker Manufacturing. Denver, Colorado. No more. He's got enough. we got enough gold. I like, I like how they get these doors like, okay, it's, it's a little drafty up, guys. Yeah. <laughs> After exploring the mill site, we stopped at the old town site where the superintendent's office and bunkhouses are located. So this is what's left of the boarding house. You can see this was huge. Pretty, pretty immense. Their house back there. Okay, so this is supposedly the superintendent's house. Take a quick look in here. Probably a bedroom here, closet. Nice front room. Here's the beds. Oh boy. Your closet add on there. Oh, this one's seen better days. That's pretty cool. Next, we headed up to the mine site, which is almost 3,000 feet up the mountain at about 88,000 feet. After traversing this very long and narrow shelf road that I think was clearly designed for side-by-sides, we finally all made it up to the mine site. Okay, here's the top of the Belmont. We were at the bottom. See a little bit of snow here on the ground still. It's early October. Wow. <laughs> That's gonna be the word for this trip, wow. This is cool. Another big structure right over there. Oh wow, there's a tank under here. There's a whole, oh wow. Be careful, this is a false floor. Wow. Work, workbench area. We finally made our way to the audit, which I don't recommend you enter without the proper precautions. Okay, here I go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a tight fit. 
and it's wet. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't oh. know this was the case to go in. Oh, yeah. Woo! All right. There we are. Which way did you guys go? You can see the roots from the forest above hanging down into the mine. Oh, yeah. So, it keeps going across there. Oh, wow. It looks like it's a false floor right there. Look, see, see the timber? So yeah. It looks like there might, and obviously something down there, it looks like maybe something even goes this way. You see the mushroom? Oh, well, I got to take a picture of that. Look at Again, I don't recommend you enter mines. Oh, nice work. Oh, boy. I don't know how the miners got in and out of here every day. Oh man. <laughs> After exploring the Belmont mine, we continued to head south. Little did we know our trail would end up being washed out and our lead vehicle would get stuck as night began to fall. You want me to do this? This is when we should have realized this trail was not a good idea. Make it exciting! Stay like that the whole time, make it exciting! Stay like that, straight this way. Yeah! There you go, straight. Stay like that. That's where it gets fun, right there. Stay like that. Stay like that. Stay like that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna go get behind Wes. <laughs> oh, please do! I want a picture of that! This is where our confidence turned into cockiness and things went real bad, real fast. Oh, yeah! I can't, I can't see it from over there. You, oh, bu you oh, buried that diff. Oh, this tire. This tire. This dead. side didn't look too bad. When we made it over to the other side, we yeah, realized we were in some trouble. It's too slow. You can see it's just sucking. I was up here. Oh, you were up here? Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Wes uh, Hadley here. Had a little slip into this beautiful ditch and he seems to be stuck. Uh, so we are going to try to get him out. Hopefully this gives you a little perspective of how deep that trench is. So, uh, this is part of the fun, I guess. Uh, Wes is working on it. <laughs> I got a little smile from Wes. That's a good sign. He didn't throw a rock on me. He just smiled. I like yeah, it. Might throw a but don't worry, Wes. I don't want you to worry. We, will, we won't leave you behind. 
No man left behind. Okay, now it's starting to load up. All right. Well, it's pulled it off the wall a little bit. Yeah. All right, we're hooking up the front end. Keep the front end from sliding in. That's a pretty deep hole. To note that Gladiator's on 37 inch tires. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, it's moving. Slow, 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 Wes. A little more tension. More tension. More tension. Here we go. Moving. All right, I'm going to keep going. There we go. Yes, pull. It's working. It's working. I got that front tire. It's looking good. Okay. Thanks to the JK's Harbor Freight winch, we're able to pull them back out of the trench. This allowed Weston to pull forward on his own after filling the trench up with a whole lot of branches and dirt. We're ready in the front. Winch and four low. Ooh. Yep, inch by inch. You're coming to come down in the rear? Good. You're looking good. I think you could probably drive out of this, but. All right, you're out. Okay, well. It's not white. Ow. So first injury of the trip. The first the trip. He got a little foot roll over here, and it speaks to uh, good team communication, or in this case, lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my advice to the is uh, don't put your foot underneath the tire. Nice, nice. Good advice. Well, this has been crazy. Uh, we had to turn around. We couldn't couldn't continue forward. Um, now we're trying to make our way back out of this canyon. And as I'm looking at it now, I'm wondering how the heck did we even get down here? Are we going back to our uh, lunch spot? It took us almost two hours to get the Gladiator unstuck and all of us turned around. And by that time, it was obviously dark. We headed back towards the Belmont Mill to set up camp. By this time, we were beat. And after a quick meal and some time by the campfire, we called it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe and hit that notification button because you don't want to miss the next one where we continue our adventure into eastern Nevada and explore the famous Comet Mine. This heavy load got under your skin Got the white knuckles holding on a tie, keeping your feelings bottled up inside, heading for a collision.